What's happening, BC Spirits? BC Spirits, Spirit Day number 199, 98, 99. We're getting close to 200, guys. I'm close to 200 on BC Spirits Spirit Day. I'm on close to 200 on uh, my post shift podcast. Um, got some big people coming up for that. So, what am I going to taste today? I decided to do a live chat because you know what? Like, hey, Westy. Um, mainly because I don't have to look at my head. Tim, how are you? Because I've put the camera this way, but for some reason the thread still goes this way, which is very, very odd for me. Um, it's 5.30 and it's getting close to the end of my day. And so I didn't want to go through a video and then post it and do all the usual things. So I was like, screw it. Let's just do a live chat and see who jumps on. Um, so what we're rocking out today is the Marydale Vodka. The Couch and Vodka from Marydale. 100% fruit based. So, I haven't said anything about this um, this week. I'm gonna, just give me two seconds. Distilled entirely from BC fruit uh, in copper stills. Um, then they age it for three years in stainless steel tanks, um, which does help a lot. Um, so it is a, basically a, a under, uh, unaged fruit brandy per se. It has been distilled down far enough that you would class it as a vodka. Now, I want to bring up something that have, has I've had two emails this week. Uh, copper penny distilling. It's okay we turned our laptop sideways. <laughs> Fitting for a Tuesday. Am I sideways for you guys too? Am I sideways for you guys too? Or am I straight ahead for you guys too? I'm just curious. Wes is going to answer this question. Is everybody looking at me like this right now? Or am I straight on for you? This is very confusing for Instagram. It's the first time I've done it this way. So, um, Wes, what kind of fruit? I am sideways? That can't be true. Ah, oh, give me two seconds. Here we go. Let's fix that. Let's just go like this and then go like this. This is a crazy episode now, isn't it? There we go. Is that better for everybody? Now everybody can see me properly. What a freaking tool I am. Um, so what style of uh, fruit, West asks? Um, it's a mixture of fruit changes every year. Basically, uh, because they have... I'm going to bring you guys down here too, just a second. Here we go. Look at that. Now we're like face-to-face -face proper. Okay. Man, I should start again for crying out loud. Um, oh, God, Saul, you are just shitting the bed right now. Fucking hell. What fruit? Uh, they are on the orchard, so it'll be mainly um, uh, apples and pears. But that being said, being in the Couch and Valley, they get a whole bunch of different fruit given to them from farmers and so on and so forth. I would say pears and apples are probably the very first, the only app, the, the basic uh, fruit that they use for this one. Um, but I would suggest they probably get a whole bunch of different fruit from farmers. Um, Divine does the same thing. A lot of farmers just show up with tubs and tubs of fruit. Can you distill this off? Away you go. Oh, before I taste, this is what I want to get a thing on. See this gluten-free thing here? All spirits are gluten-free, okay? Um, the distillation process is super aggressive, super high heat and pressure. Gluten does not make its way through into the final product, so all distilled spirits are gluten-free. Now, before anybody gets crawls up my back and says, well, how would you know? Um, last week, I was actually diagnosed with very aggressive celiac disease, uh, which has been a massive problem for me for the last 6 to 12 months that I didn't know about. I went and got a blood test, and I registered completely, 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 completely off the chart um, celiac. So um, that has been a big change for me this life this week. Massive lifestyle change, but you can still drink distilled spirits because distilled spirits do not carry through gluten. Um, but let's kick this off. If you are super worried and you do get an upset tummy, or you get or you get a little bit of an upset tummy from drinking grain vodka, so on and so forth, do chase chase down your fruit flavored um, your fruit spirits. Um, as to, as Wes said, um, tequila. Um, I'm not even sure if tequila or mezcal are just. Uh, gluten-free yes they should be because they're sugar-based so yes rums would be uh gluten-free just change the way you drink if you do get an upset stomach from whiskey or gin like grain-based gins i would call bullshit nine times out of ten because this week the only thing that's been actually nice the fact that i can't have a beer is the fact that i can drink my whiskey still On the nose and on the palate. Oh, just sweet fruit. This is a really tough one for me. 
because I've been to Marydale. Um, this is a super aromatic, super fruity sweet sort of uh, flavor profile. It really is a fantastic spirit. Um, would I lean into being a uh, unaged brandy over a vodka? It's a tough one. It gets into semantics a little bit, but it's textual. It You know how much I love fruit brandies. Um, it's light. It's feathery. If you're going to play around with this, um, play around with like a super light version of anything that cognac or brandy would go into. Sidecar with this may really sing nicely because I think stretching that out, you're going to have this beautiful fruity like ness that go back in it without having that really heavy note. Um, summertime sidecars with this could be money. Um, that being said, thanks everybody for tuning in. I'm not sure if I'm going to post this one on YouTube because of this whole sideways thing, but hey, it may come out good on my end. So thanks a lot, guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good day. Bye. No, no. A white lady would be gin. West, a white lady would be gin. If you use vodka, but it is a grape vodka, which technically you semantic wise would say is an unaged brandy, an unaged brandy would still make it a sidecar. Or a twist on a pesco sour. But uh, <laughs> a white lady with this would be fantastic as well with the, uh, the couch and gin. But have a good day, guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.